the one, the only, Ben Seal. Good afternoon, welcome to Yeshua YouTube. Just to offer this, we continue with Masechus Kitten, Daf Samech Aleph, number 61. <clears throat> Big share for you today. We'll talk about a couple of different things. Uh, Ian with Ben Seal, and we'll talk about Darche Shalom, this concept that we find in the last Mishnah. Machlokas between the Rabban and Rabbi Yossi, or there are certain things, Armini Darche Shalom, you can't steal a piece of Darche Shalom. Yossi says, Gezel Gomer. Does he mean the Rabban and the Rice? Does the Rabban mean the Rice? What does Darche Shalom exactly mean? Is there a source for Darche Shalom in the Torah? Is that the Rabban and the Rice? Is it just a Minog? We'll talk about that. It's pretty important for a lot of real life situations. But Ozli Uri. Sorry, we're turning the bottom of Samach Amabe's last line. The Rabbanan say that if you steal from his trap, someone traps something. They trap the deer. If you take the deer before the guy gets there, so the Rabbanan say, you're not allowed to do a Midrach Shalom. Rabbi says, Gezel Gomer. It's like real thievery. But Ozli Ori, if you caught it in a net, something which has an interior, Kuli Amalo Pligi, everyone agrees that's Gezel Gomer because they're Kalim. Right. Interior belongs to you. It's it's enclosed in the interior of the net, or the box, or whatever you ca- caught the fish, or you caught the animal, or the bird in. So it belongs to you. Your kalim are kona for you. Kipligi balechi v'kukri. They're arguing about a case where it was caught by a fish hook, or it was caught by a line, or something like that. So in that case, there is no interior, so your kalim can't be kona for you. The question is, <clears throat> is it gezel gomer or not? Mitzias cheres shod v'kad the milosi al gezel gomer. Milosi says. In all three cases, it's Gezel Gomer. They argue in three cases. Amar Rochista, Gezel Gomer and Divrayim. And the seemingly later, Rochista is saying this, Rabbi Yossi is saying this by all three Machlokas, right? When it comes to well, four times the Machlokas, Mish- there's a Machlokas in Rabban and Rabbi Yossi, right? If you have a well that's filled up from <clears throat> a stream, we also had a Machlokas when it comes to traps, and we also had a Machlokas when it comes to finding something that belonged to a Cherish of a Kata. And also the next halacha, Ani on Rav Kippur Rosh Hashanah, he's knocking down olives from the tree. All four cases, the Rabbanon say it's only Darche Shalom, which really is only Lachil, you're not supposed to do it, but yeah, you don't have to return it. The Rabbanon say, Rios, he says Gezel Gomer. So Rav says Gezel Gomer with Divrayim. Now the Archkol and the Mepharshim say, Rios is arguing in all cases, it's only the Rabbanon. The Rabbanon all Darche Shalom, it's the Rabbanon only Lachil. Rios says Gezel Gomer. Is there a bundle of my nafkami? And what's the difference between Darche Shalom and Gezel Gomer, according to Rabbi Yossi? It's not Daraisa. Well, it's here with Ayanim that it's Gezel Gomer with Rabbana, and the fact that Ayanim would go ahead and freeze his bank accounts and garnish his wages in order to collect the money. If while he's knocking the olive, he takes it in his hand and he throws it down, once you take it in your hand, you have a Mashiach, if you're a Konet. Rav Kahana have a Chazal or Hutzal. Rav Kahana was going to a place called Hutzal. Chazal who gave that have a Shadi Ufye. He was throwing branches. Vekhanatshin Tamari, and by throwing the branches at the palm tree, the, the, the dates would come off. Azal Kaminkat Vaachle was eating some of them. Amalei Chazi Mar Debiyadai Shadino. He said to him, the person throwing the branches. He said, not all of them came through the branches. Some of them actually came. I, I, t- I plucked them in my hands and I threw them down. You must be from the base of Rabbi Yosha, who is the rabbi in Hutzal. We call Rabbi Yosha, we're teaching the people of Hutzal, these halacha, Sadiq is the foundation of the world. Another halacha of Darachet Shalom. Even though Lek and Shekha Pei are specifically for Jewish people, if non Jewish people want to take these Matnos Aniyam, these presents for the poor people, we don't protest. We let them take it. How about it? The Bride says, Mafar to Aniyam Nachrim Ni Yisrael. And do a food drive in a time of distress, right? Or a soup kitchen. You don't turn away non Jewish people. They could also come to Akhir Shalom. Mavakrin Khali Nachrim Khali Yisrael. A hospital, you treat Jewish patients, even if it's a Jewish hospital in Israel, you treat Jewish patients and you treat Palestinian patients. There was a story I saw on TikTok. <laughs> People are a little addicted to TikTok. I was a little addicted to TikTok. I think TikTok can be very addictive, but there comes a point in your life when you're like, there are bigger things in the world than TikTok. Um, but there was an interesting story about a Palestinian kid who was riding a bicycle and got hit by a car. 
and his actual internally his spine detached from his head so it was almost like his head came off exteriorly not and the surgeons in israel were able to fix it for him and completely restore him to normal cognitive ability he didn't lose any mental capabilities through this catastrophe that happened to him and they talked about the heroism of the israeli uh medical staff but goes to show you that there are makayim this halakha that we treat patients, non-Jewish patients, even along Jewish patients. And COVID amazing and it may say Israel. If a lot of people have died, we bury them also. In order to foster peace. Is peace important? Where is the source of peace in the Torah? We'll talk about that even with Ben Sion. A woman, it's Shvius here. This year is not Shvius. Last year was Shvius. So, not everyone keeps Hilchos Shviyas. There are certain people you know that people probably don't kill keep Hilchos Shviyas. So, <clears throat> they're, they're using produce that was grown during Shviyas, which you're not allowed to do after a certain time. Or they're using it in the wrong way. So you can lend them your sifter or your Brita filter, Reichayim, or your blender, baton, or, or an oven. You can't help her physically with it, right? You can, you can let them borrow it, but you can't physically help them because that's called machzik in Yudei Obrei Avera. You're assisting them. Eishas Chaver, the woman of a Chaver, her husband is a friend. He's a Chaver, part of the Moetzes, Moetzes Rabbonim. He's part of the... the he's, he's a Chaver of the Moetzes Chachmei uh, Torah, the biggest rabbi. He's the wife of the biggest rabbi. Mashal Isha is Amaharetz. She can lend to even a wife of a regular person. Nafevik Farah. Again, a, a sifter, a kvara, like a filter, a brittle water filter. She could even sift and, you know, and blend and, you know, crush these things. Ima, she can assist her. We'll see the difference in the ratio in the safe. Why in the safe it's okay by the Amaretz. Once she puts the water in the flour, she shouldn't assist her. You don't participate in Averos with the people are doing the Avera. The reason you're allowed to let them borrow these things is because of Darche Shalom, to foster peace. Even though, right, you might say they're Amarats and we shouldn't have association with them. No, you're allowed these. supposed to foster peace between them. Non Jewish people have fields. You can help them on Shvias because technically we hold the land doesn't belong to Jews. Machlokas in the Gemara. We go to Kula, presumably. It belongs to the non-Jews. There's no Hilcha Shvias by non-Jewish land on Shvita. You can't help the Jewish people who are violating Shvita. You're supposed to ask, say good morning to non-Jews, have normal relationships with them because it's a foster peace. The Lord says, What's the difference between the Reisha? Which says, you're not allowed to assist them, a woman who is Chashud al Shvias. And the Seifa, where we're talking about Amaretz, she's probably not Chashuda, she's probably Chashuda on Trumas and Maestros. Amaratzim don't think of Trumas and Maestros. It's true that, right, they don't. But most of them, there are a that don't. Rabbi holds that most of them do. We don't write, so they take off Trumas and Maestros. So therefore, we can go with the rove. Rav Amar apparently holds the rove. Don't take off Trumas and Maestros. Amar Hakaba Amar is the Rav Meir. The tomb of Atara de Rabbanon. Here we're talking about the Amaretz. Amaretz is not someone. It's according to Amaretz is Rav Meir's version of Amaretz. We'll see there's two versions of what Amaretz is. The sign, the writer says, Ezo Amaretz. What's the Amaretz? Kol she'enu olchal chuli of Batara de Rabbanon. Meir says, as long as you don't eat your chul in Batara, you live in Eretz Israel, and your chul in, you even eat when you're tummy, right? That, presumably the Gemara assumes, is also mid rabbana, tumma of tara mid rabbana, it's also mid rabbana. You have to be careful. Ida raisa is only a problem eating truma bituma or kachim bituma. To eat a chul in bituma is a, is a, is a takana they made, and people should make sure to eat their chul in bitara, so therefore they don't come, people don't come to eat truma or kachim on their tummy. Chama amarim, come and say, what's the difference in amar? It's called sheno masa peros of it. The way of defying an Amaretz is anyone who doesn't think of Trumas and Maestros. So, the Mishnah follows Rav Meir's opinion. The Amaretz reference here is someone who's not careful 
and Tuma and Tara. And that's only their Rabbanan. This is only their Rabbanan. Not like the, the, the Reisha is not Shvi. Shvi is the Reisha. So you can't help them at all. But when it comes to Tuma and Tara, that's only as to their Rabbanan to Omar Mekel. So the Gemara continues, the Hamid Dani Seifa. The end of the Mishnah, the Mishnah, even when the Amar is one, Amar is one, she puts the water, she puts the water with the flour. She needs the water and the flour together. Now it's Chayav and Chala. Right? Chala is like Truma. Michal the Reish Lab, the Tumah of Taras, you know. Right? Once she puts the water in, then we're worried about Truma, about Tumah and Tara. Right? Before she puts it in, we're not worried about Tumah and Tara. It's only when, right, Tumah and Tara when it's Del Raisa, when it's Truma, or Chala, right? It's Del Raisa even to Metame Truma, or Metame Chulin. Mishmer is Truma, it's in a Mitzvah's essay, not to Metame it. Reisha was safe of a tumah batar. The more answer is both there. Both talk about tumah batar. Reisha of a tumah is chulin. Reisha is talking about tumah is chulin. Safe of tumah is chala. Safe is talking about tumah is chala. It's talking about shatal when she puts water, she needs the dough. That's talking. She would need. She she uh, needs enough dough that is chayiv in chala, and that chala is like truma, which is daraisa. But Aminu, the Gemara poses a question from a brisa at top of Sam Chala from a base. Tochten. You can grind and you can actually deposit your food by people who, who consume shvias. You know they consume shvias, right? After the zman beer, they're not supposed to. But people who violate this or the rabbanon of not eating their chulin betara. You can't do it for them. You can't help them. You can deposit it by them, but you can't help them make their food. <clears throat> so you see what? You see that even when it comes to Tuma and Tara, the Rabbanon were mocked not to assist them. Amar Abai Hassan Bekoi and Achashal Echol Truma Betuma Askin. They were talking, this price is talking about a Kohen, not a, not a Yisrael. A Kohen who made this Truma Betuma, which is this Daraisa, the Havale Tuma Daraisa. If that's so, the Gemara says Mafkidin. Um, so in the case of the Mishnah, the Bryce says you're allowed to deposit it. Raminu a Mafkidin Truma Eitzel Yisrael Amaret. Velo Eitzel Kohen Amaret. When they Gaspa, when you deposit Truma, you can deposit it by a, a, a Yisrael who's not Amaret, who probably could be Tomei, but not by a Kohen who's not Amaret who could be Tomei because he's could eat it. So you see, you're worried that he could eat it. You can't even Mafkid. Amar we la Hachavai Askinan. This price is talking about where it's a sealed container. It has it inside. So you can't touch it. Even if you're a tummy, you can't touch it. There's still a problem, right? Even if it's completely sealed, there's no entrance way on the top. Nonetheless, by it's not macabre tumor that what's inside by touching it, you can't touch it, but by Hasata by carrying it, and your wife is Anida, she's Nava Tuma, she can make a tummy like that, the wife of the Kohen, and, she, and it should be a problem with Tuma do Raisa, but Tuma. El Amarim Lokasha, a different answer. Kind of peril shalukshro, kind of peril shalukshro. When it says you can deposit it, that's talking about fruits before they touch a liquid, one of the Zion Mashkim, and they're not Roy Lakabal Tuma. The one that says you can't deposit is talking about where it touched water and it's ready to be Kabal Tuma. Vraminu, we ask a question that Amol Chitin Latoche and Kusi, Ola Tuch and Amaretz, he takes his his grain to a Kusi, right? It was a somewhat observant Jew, but not a fully observant Jew. Ola Tuch and Amaretz, or he's an Amaretz, he's a worldly person to grind it up for him. Hare Lebechaz Kasan, Lemaiser Lashvias. We assume that when they, uh, these Amad Amars and the Kusi ground it up, they didn't. Exchange it for something that was Maiser or Shvias. They took out Shumas and Maiser, they were Nizar and Hilko Shvias. Avalu Tuma were worried that it became Tomei. So the Gemara says, Hi, my Rumi, what's the question? Lavo Kim, Lava Perosh, Lohokshuru. Right? This is talking about a case where it was Hokshar, like Abel Tuma, this Brysa. We said that when the, the Brysa says you could deposit it, it's talking about where it wasn't Hokshar, it wasn't Royal Lakabal Tuma, it didn't touch liquid yet. The Karla, my car. So the Karla said, "My Karla." It's an obvious answer. What was the What was the questioner thinking? The reason he brought it in was for to ask a different question. The rice says that we assume they didn't switch it for Meiser and Shvius. They didn't switch it for things which didn't take up Shvius and Meisos. 
or they didn't twitch or something that produce, which is shmita, shmita produce. We're not concerned that they exchanged it. Raminhu, they exchanged right this produce which you took off Shumas and Maisos, and it's not Shri's produce for their own produce, which is Shmita produce, and you, and they did not take off Shumas and Maisos. Raminhu, the Bryce says, I know saying the Chamoso, Master Eshu knows in law Eshu no Delimani. He gives his mother in law dough to bake, right? So before he gives it to her, he takes the Shumas and Maisos, and when he gets it back for her, Baked, he also takes those trumas from Isos. And this Shekhashu Machlefes, we see that a woman, she's presuming Amar, it's the mother in law. All mother in laws are Amarat, <laughs> according to their son in laws. Um, so she is, we were concerned that she took the bread that you gave her, even though you took a trumas from Isos, she gave you back something else, her personal bread, her personal dough, which was not true, not a trumas from Isos taken off. That's why you take it off again. <clears throat> says the reason it's only by a mother-in-law. Mother-in-law is unique because she wants to help out her daughter and she's embarrassed from her son-in-law. So therefore, if she takes the dough they give her and she bakes it, it doesn't come out good. So she wants to make sure, she's embarrassed from her son-in-law to make sure she serves them really tasty bread. And she wants to help out her daughter-in-law. So therefore, when it comes, push comes to shove, she might exchange it. For her is that wasn't take off Jumas and Well the Amal Keshina, we're not worried about other people switching. I thought I know saying the Pundakit, Master Oshinosin Lab Oshinotalemon. If you go to an inn, there's a woman, there's an innkeeper over there, she's in charge of the kitchen over there. Any any dough you give her to bake, you take off Shumas and Maishos before you give it to her. And when you get back, you also take off Shumas and Maishos, and they should machlep this because she switches. So Mars Asa Muriya Ba Amra, Barbie Rav Lechal Khamim of Ana Echal Kariro. There, she's saying she wants to help out. Usually, people that stay in these inns that can't afford hotels, the Beit Harachah's place, um, the place just the guest house, when they, it's not very fancy, our, our students who can't afford a hotel room. So, she wants to help them out. She wants them, they don't have good food during the week in the cafeterias and the yeshivas. They want, yeah, she'll exchange her bread for their bread. If their bread doesn't come out good, she'll give them bread. Therefore, they take out Chumas and Maisos. They'll eat the hot bread. I'll have the cold bread. We're not worried elsewhere. The wife of a chaver, a big Talmud chach, a big rabbi, she could grind up grain. She can blend grain or blend a, a smoothie. The wife of a chaver, when, when she's tmeya, when the woman is tmeya, the Isha's chaver is tmeya. Avalobazman she tahora. When she's tahora, when she's in a state of purity, right, she's not allowed to do this. Because when she's Tmeya, she knows she's Tmeya. So she's not gonna come to eat from the produce of this Asia Samarit where it could be a problem of Shumas and Mice, it could be Hul and Bituma, depending on who the girl hold like Rame or the Rabana. But when she's Tahora, she doesn't have that hecker, she doesn't have that recognition. Sorry, when she's Tahora, uh Right. But when she's the Hora, she doesn't have that recognition that she might take. Even when she's Tommy, she shouldn't assist. Because this lady of Amar says she's going to take from the dough and give it to her. And steal from her husband, right? She can't, all the food belongs to her husband. She can't give more than is a portion for her, to, she can give another portion to the person working with her. She has to get an agreement from her husband. She's going to steal from her husband, and certainly she is suspect of exchanging. It's a unique case over there because she reasons as follows. She's helping me out, right? Like a, a cow, right? A cow, when it goes threshes in the field, it's allowed to eat from where it threshes. You can't muzzle a cow when it's threshing. It's doing work. You can't be expected to hold back and not eat. Here, she's helping me out, so she has the right to eat. So there, even though it's wrong, but she's stealing from her husband, it doesn't indicate that she'll be machlef in a different time. We'll stop over here. Stay tuned for Ian with Ben Sion, where I talk about uh, the last Mishnah and the Machlokas in Riosi and the Rabbanan in four cases. Uh, what is Darche Shalom? Is it the Rabbanan, the Raisa, and the Minog? It's very important in Shir. 
with government, talk about governments and bring in a lot of different sources. Ian with Vencion coming up next.